Hello everyone! Happy New Year! This is going to be the first video in the new year. I don't know if you guys know this, but I actually don't celebrate Christmas. I do put up decorations and I do uh, participate in like the festivities, like uh, Secret Santas and stuff like that, but my family does not celebrate Christmas, so we don't give gifts to each other. The only people that I really give gifts to is my husband, Sophie, and my friends that celebrate Christmas. I feel like it's a lot less hectic on me because my family obviously doesn't celebrate, so they're not expecting any gifts from me. So I don't know how you guys do it that actually celebrate and get gifts for everybody in their family. Like I feel like I would have panic attacks because I would want to like buy everybody something and I wouldn't have enough money for for it. Anyway, so these are just some things that I received from either friends on YouTube or friends who are subscribers or friends that um, I know from work. I'm not going to put in the things that I received during my Secret Santa, so you guys know I was a part of two Secret Santas, and I'm not gonna put all of the stuff that I got from there because I feel like this would be like a really long video, and plus I already unboxed them on camera, so if you guys wanna see what I got from my Secret Santa Kate and my Secret Santa Beth, I'm gonna put the links down below, as well as the box that I received from our good friend Casey and um, my friend Lara on um, YouTube again. So I'm gonna put those four video links down below, so if you guys did not get to watch those and see what goodies I got, I will put that for you down below. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, so I'm just gonna get started. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is from my good friend Fatima, who is Mina's sister. She got me this really cute Disney thermos. This was actually from ASOS, and I think it's so adorable. I love the Mickey head on top. I love that it's pink. Pink is my favorite color, if you guys didn't know. And you can just put in your drink in here. It could either be cold or hot. It doesn't really house a lot of liquid. I think like for around the house or if you just want something um, like water or even coffee you can actually put in here but I don't drink coffee so it's probably just gonna be water or either like tea. I just thought it was so adorable. Again um, she said she got it off of ASOS and I think that is just so cute. Thank you Fatima if you're watching. The next thing that I have to show you is this chip cup. I got this from my friend Aileen at work. I invited my co-workers over for like a little holiday party just to like hang out in our PJs because we have been working really hard at the school and I thought we just needed a time to chill and relax so uh, when she came over she brought this with her and I love it so much I actually don't have this chip cup I have other chip cups but I do not have this one I think this is the one from box lunch if I'm not mistaken but he just looks so cute his little chip is right there and I just love him so so much Thank you, Aileen. So I'm gonna stay with the Beauty and the Beast theme. This was actually so unexpected. So I was a part of a Secret Santa at work. I was actually the one that suggested to everybody we do a Secret Santa. This is like my first real job. They became my work family and I wanted to give back to those people that I've been working with for the past couple months. So I told them, let's do a Secret Santa. And my Secret Santa was the uh, living environment teacher and her name is Nancy. So we used Elfster. And in Elster, you can ask your Secret Santa like questions anonymously. So she asked me questions, or at the time I didn't know it was her. She asked me what my favorite Disney movie was, who my favorite characters are. I told her Beauty and the Beast, and I told her Belle and Beast are my favorite characters in all of Disney. And she went and got me this. It's a little like all over the place because I opened it. It is a Beauty and the Beast Good Smile Company figurine. She told me that this uh, company is actually really popular in I think Japan. It's basically a figurine of Belle. You can change her like face, you could change the way her dress is styled, and she has like all these little accessories that I'm gonna show you right now. Look how beautiful. Oh my goodness. She's holding a rose. She looks very anime-ish, but that's expected because again, she's from a Japanese company, but I just, st I still think the detail on this is beautiful. So you can actually change her face and you can change the way that her dress looks like. This is like a part of the dress that you can change. This is where like she's holding up her dress, so you see a little bit of the ruffle on the inside. This is her other face that you can put it kind of looks the same kind of no she has her mouth open in this one the other one her mouth is closed it also comes with a mrs. Potts and a little chip and I think that it's just so so cute look how cute these are it even comes with a little um 
what do you call this? <laughs> what the enchanted rose is in. So it even comes with that and it comes with a little mirror for her to see the beast. Look at that guys, how cute! Thank you so, so much Nancy, I love it so much. I cannot wait to display it. On top of me is actually my Beauty and the Beast shelf, so I'm probably gonna put her up there. It really saddens me that you guys cannot see my shelves up here, but I don't know how to situate the camera where you guys would be able to see it. I might do like a tour of this shelf or this wall. I'm just waiting to fill it up because it's very empty right now, so I wanna fill it up. And then once it's filled with Disney stuff, I will definitely give you guys a tour. Another sweet package that I received in the mail was from my very good friend Liz from our Artsy Liz Flores. She has a shop where she hand paints ears and I think they're absolutely beautiful. She messaged me and she's like, I want to send you something even though she didn't have to. And I got this really sweet package of the mail, so I'm going to show you guys. So she didn't just send me one pair of ears, she sent me three, which is absolutely nuts. But first off, let me sh first show you guys these uh, cute Beauty and the Beast figures. So she included a little bell pop. I think, I'm not really sure what where this is from or like what... Uh, box this is from but she's so adorable and she's so tiny and again I am very big Beauty and the Beast collector so she's gonna be going in my Beauty and the Beast collection. So this is another Belle figurine that she included. It's a little keychain that you can put on your keys and again she's in her yellow dress and she's holding up a rose and she looks absolutely adorable. So the three pairs of ears that she included in this uh, box were these ears which I think are actually from Disney World if I'm not mistaken. I think I saw people wear these in Disney World during the uh, Merry Christmas party or Mickey's Merry Christmas party. So these do light up and I wore these um, during my pajama day at my school and the kids really loved it. Even the teachers, I got so many compliments on it. So thank you so much Liz. This is so adorable. I'm definitely going to be wearing these every holiday season once it comes around. The next pair of ears that I'm about to show you are so cute. My birthday's coming up. And I've actually been looking for birthday ears, so these are probably going to be the ears that I wear on my birthday because, first of all, they're pink, they're so me, they're velvet, and there is a little tiara in the middle of the bow, which I think is so adorable, and then she also put a pink sequin bow. But, like, isn't this me in a pair of ears? It's totally me in a pair of ears. I'm just gonna take these off for a second to show you guys. Like, are we kidding right now? How cute is that? It matches, like, my whole aesthetic right now. Like, I'm just all pinky pink, and I think they're so adorable. Totally perfect ears for me. She knows what I like, so thank you so much, Liz. I saw these on her Instagram feed when she painted them, and I was like, oh my god, these are so, so cute. At the time, I was not buying ears. As you guys know, I have not bought ears since July. Okay, I'm lying. I did buy a pair just last week but that's because the shop never opens and I just took my opportunity and I saw that she was opening and I jumped and bought a pair of ears but that was literally the only pair I bought since July so you guys should be proud of me so these ears are so cute it's Mrs. Chip oh Mrs. Chip <laughs> Mrs. Potts and Chip and Chip is blowing bubbles and what's cool about this is that there's actually a hidden Mickey up here that has bubbles on it which is so cute. I love the background color. I definitely have to put an outfit together for this. I actually do have the Mrs. Potts and Chip bag so I will definitely be making an outfit. Another thing that I want to share with you guys is actually again from my good friend at work. Her name is Stephanie and everybody at work knows I am the Disney like fanatic Everybody in at my work knows this. Whenever something is mentioned that has Disney in it, everyone like turns and looks at me to see my reaction because they know that I'm all about the Disney stuff. <laughs> it's really funny. But anyway, so she got me this cute snow globe of Mickey and Minnie. You can see Mickey and Minnie on a carousel horse and he is holding up a bouquet of roses. And like I said, it is so beautiful. I love the hearts that go around them. And the best part about this is that it plays music. How cute! 
Thank you so much, Stephanie. I love it so, so much. It's definitely going in my Valentine's Day shelf when Valentine's Day comes around because it has Mickey and Minnie. They have like hearts floating around them and the song is just so beautiful. So the next thing I'm gonna share with you is from my good friend, Patty. I can't even sing Patty's praises enough. Patty is actually one of the oldest Disney friends that I've made through YouTube. I think that her and Emily, at the time they had a YouTube channel, I think they were like the first people me and Mina ever spoke to through messaging and then it turned into texting and then we met them in Disney. So I feel like they were like the OG people that we met through this Disney community. I love Patty so much. She has grown so so much with her Disney phone cases shop. It's called pixiecases.com. I'm going to leave the link down below. You guys do not want to miss out on the most amazing cases that are coming out in 2019. I guarantee you guys will love each and every one of them, especially if you're a very big Disney fan and also a Harry Potter fan as well. So Patty sent me this cutest necklace ever. You guys have probably seen me wearing it in videos of the past and it is this beautiful, beautiful, uh, snowflake necklace and it has a hidden Mickey in the middle and as well as the outlines of the snowflake it's in gold it's from mouse merch box so if you guys are interested in buying it it's from there I just think it is so simple yet elegant and that is exactly what I look for in a necklace I do like those like statement pieces necklaces as well but these are definitely the necklaces that I am attracted to when I'm buying jewelry and it's Disney Disney jewelry is absolutely my favorite favorite and like I said it's like very small very elegant and so so me so thank you so much Patty I love it so much the next thing that I'm going to share with you guys is from my very good friend Becca over at Disney Kitty there are no words to describe the warmth that Becca spreads towards everybody that watches her she's my role model in this community to be honest with you I do look up to her and I aspire to be um, the way that Becca is. Uh, she's just very down to earth. Like when she's talking to the camera, I feel like she's talking to like you. Like she's talking to me when I'm watching her. I don't think that everyone can do that when they're speaking to a camera. I mean, I hope that's what I, what you guys get from me when I'm speaking to you. But there's just something about the way that Becca articulates her words, the way she speaks. I say it all the time. She knows how to describe things. She like uses the perfect word to describe something and she also just speaks very well. She knows how to speak. I can definitely say that I do not know how to speak. Most of the time I'm stumbling over my words. That's why there's so many cuts in my videos because I always, always say something either stupid or I'm just like stuttering and I'm like, what on earth what I, was I just doing? I just did it right there. See, Becca sent me something in the mail and it was actually in one of her boxes that she opens like quite quite frequently on her channel. I think it was either Mickey Monthly or Bippity Boppity boxes. I don't even know. There's just so many Disney subscription boxes out there. I can't even count anymore. But she did receive this in one of her boxes and then she received it again in another one of her boxes and she knows that I'm a very big Beauty and the Beast fan and she gifted it to me. I am just so humbled. Thank you so much, Becca. I love it so, so much. When I saw her showing it off to the camera on her channel, I was like, oh my God, where can I get my hands on this? This is perfect for me. I love Beauty and the Beast. I love sending out cards to people. So this would be perfect for me to be using. I don't even want to use these cards to be honest. I might just keep them for myself and just marvel at them. No, I'm not that greedy. So it's like this beautiful Beauty and the Beast box. It has the Enchanted Rose and then when you open it up it is like a box that stores all of the Beauty and the Beast note cards. I want to show you some of these because they're so beautiful. So beautiful. This is for me and you. No, these are mine. This one of Beast looking menacing. He's not really menacing though, he's a softie. You just have to break through his exterior, you know? This is one of Belle. Oh my God, these are so pretty! I don't wanna write in them. And here's one of Lumiere. Thank you so, so much, Becca. I am truly just touched that you would think of me to send this to because I know you do have a lot of friends that probably do love Beauty and the Beast, but the fact that you sent it to me is just so sweet. Thank you so much, Becca. So. The next thing that I'm gonna show you, I am just, I screamed. I feel like I should have opened it on camera because I know you guys love seeing my expressions when I open something, especially when I'm getting something either from a subscriber or from a Disney friend. I do love to film my reaction. That way that person can see my initial thought of what I 
thought of their gift. Michaela O'Connell, who is actually a subscriber, and she sent me a message um, a couple weeks ago and she was like, I want to send you something just to say thank you. Again, you guys never have to send me anything. Your support is enough for everything that I do. I can never say no to anybody that wants to send me something because I just feel like so bad like I'm because I would I would feel bad if I wanted to send someone something and then that person told me no like I would probably be heartbroken so I do say yes but I also do say you do not have to I just don't think it's needed to open up a PO box right now so if you guys ever want to send us something which you don't have to you can just message me on my personal Instagram or the Disney Damsels Instagram and I will send you our address. Michaela sent us something and I just thought it was so sweet and I, like I said, I screamed when I saw one of the items in this package because I adore this movie and I actually follow the shop that she bought the item from. So first off, she sent us the cutest card. Um, it says happy holidays on it, it has ornaments coming down, it's so beautiful. And she also did include some Beauty and the Beast emoji stickers. I see Sophie peeking out the door and she's looking at the stickers. These are going to be for me. I'm keeping them. They're mine. But they're mine. They're mine. They're mine. She shared something very personal with me in her card and Michaela, I just want to say thank you so much. And again, my DMs are always open if you ever need to talk about anything. Thank you so, so much. The first thing that I saw in here is this cute 2017 cupcake. And it has Minnie on top. She actually said this is for Sophie. So I'm going to go and give this to her right now. Here you go. For me? Yes. Thank you, Mama. It's not for me. It's for Michaela. Oh. Say thank you, Michaela. Thank you, Michaela. So she included two pins and this is actually from a fantasy pin shop that I don't even know how this fantasy pin shop makes these beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous pins. So this is from a shop called Ashes Fantasy Pins on Instagram and she does I think everything either through PayPal or she does have a website, I'm not sure, but I will also link her down below. First thing that she included was this mermaid Tinkerbell uh, pin. She said that she heard that I loved Peter Pan a lot so she saw this Tinkerbell mermaid and she sent it to me. She's really pretty. I love the fact that her wings are sparkly and I know the shop does several characters in this style where they're mermaids and I think it's just so so pretty and it says Ellie of 100. So this is the pin that I screamed when I saw. I remember the shop making these pins and they're kind of expensive. I'm not gonna lie. I think they're like $30 a pin but the reason why they're that expensive is because they're huge so she made 30 of these and I got the seventh one so there's seven out of 30 this is absolutely beautiful like what 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 I am the hugest you just not a word I am the biggest Hercules fan on this planet I adore that movie so much I'm actually gonna be filming a Hercules collection video after this so what perfect timing for this to come in yesterday like this is just so perfect can we just can we just look how beautiful that is oh my god and this is a fantasy pin it's literally the size of my palm like it's huge and like i said there was only 30 of these made i am in love with this so so much michaela you're amazing thank you so so much michaela i love this so much it is going with my hercules collection of pins that is fairly small, but I am going to treasure this forever. Thank you so, so much. The last thing that I'm going to share with you guys is actually a pin trade that I did with uh, Princess Minnie, who is Kate. I am horrible. I still did not even ship her pin yet. It's just been like too crazy. But Kate, your pin is coming to you, I promise. And I promise I'm never this late when I send something. It's just been so hectic. So I have been a collector of the nesting dolls, the princess nesting dolls collection. And I have tried so hard to complete that collection. And I finally completed it because of Kate. So thank you so much, Kate, because you were the one that helped me finish this collection that I've been trying so hard to finish and complete. Only one that I was missing was Snow White. And funny story is, oh my god, I did not even know that this was Snow White when I first saw the like package for this collection. I thought it was like the original nesting doll. So I'm so sorry, Snow White, that I thought you were the original nesting doll, but um, I finally got you, and I'm actually going to put her up right now behind me so that you guys can see my full collection. Thank you so, so much, Kate. I really do appreciate it. I finally completed my first Disney World pin set, and it's all because of you. Thank you so much, Kate. Here is 
Snow White, the last pin that I needed. Woo! So as you guys can see, I have all of the princesses riding the monorail over there. And I have everyone on board except Snow White. And there we go. Snow White is on there. So here you can see Alice, Cinderella, Belle, Anna, Elsa, Ariel, Rapunzel, Tiana, Merida, Meriwether, Fauna, Flora, or the opposite, Aurora, Snow White, and Tink! Yay! Okay, so that was... You know what's funny is that when I first started gathering everything, I was like, this is not really a lot of things. But now that I'm like thinking about it, and now that I've been standing here for a couple minutes, it's definitely a lot of things. And I do feel um, I've been so blessed with everyone around me. I feel so spoiled. And again, I don't ever have to receive like anything from anybody. Your support means the world to me. Just continue watching. Just continue having that relationship with me. Talking to me about Disney things, non-Disney things. That is really all that matters to me. I just want to say one last thank you to everybody who sent me something. So yeah, I just want to say thank you guys so, so much. I love you all and I really hope that you guys stick around wow. for some new content. Thank you so much, guys. Bye. I'm like sweating. I'm literally sweating. I just spent the last 30 minutes trying to position this camera and I give up. So I'm sorry if you don't see anything in the background. Honestly, I've been trying to like show you guys my ears and it's just, it's driving me nuts. So I don't even care anymore. I'm just gonna start filming because this is absolutely, this is how you know I need a new stand for my camera because this stand, I wanted to throw it out the window. Anyway, happy new year. <laughs>